there welcome back to my channel plants with amanda we're going to be decorating in my vertical catch-all happy planner today using a lot of sticker books um we're pulling in stickers from the chic winter sticker book from live love posh and i'm gonna do some like wintry scenes because i've pulled sticker books that have animals and like um little scenes in them let me show you real quick like these right here from Plenty Things, Seasonal Fun. And then from my Hobby Lobby sticker books, there's a couple of little scenes that, or excuse me, pages that have like wintry animals in them. And I thought it would be fun to maybe pull together a, a, a spread with these stickers. And then I've also pulled boxes from Mojo Jojo Plans as usual. So let's go ahead and get these out of the way and we'll get started. So I'm just pulling a page out of the Live Love Posh sticker book so we can move that out of the way. Uh, because I think I want to start with these bigger stickers um, first. I'm gonna pull these in down here, but I need to white out the snowflakes. I'm using the uh, Life's a Party Planner for my catch-all this year, and it's not a neutral planner, so um, you'll find that I'll either be covering up this stuff sometimes, or I'll be franken planning in some neutral pages here and there. Okay, and I think I wanna start these trees just right here across the uh, bottom edge of the page. like that. All right. Um, let's go ahead and pull in these over here, the mountains. I'm, I might try to pull some trees in on this side too, but I want to put these down first. a little bit short to fit across all four boxes so I think I'm just gonna do to this edge and then maybe we'll figure out somehow to cover that up all right well we could come in with uh, let's see if we can pull in maybe some of these trees I'm just gonna, I'm trying to see if I can kind of incorporate these down here with the other green trees to try to kind of help them blend together. Hmm, so I can kind of use them throughout. Let's see, I'm gonna trim it up. I think that's okay. There's a little bit of the um, edge there that I can see that I'd rather it be trimmed, I think. Let me see if I can. There's so many stickers on my scissors, I can't. <laughs> it's not kind of, it's not getting in there to get it. Let's, I think it's, I think I got it. Let's see if that's better. okay we're gonna leave it for now all right let's go ahead and see what we've got as far as like the little scenes here um, that we could pull in all 
Okay, so we've got two pages. Oh, that's a different page. I think. Oh, <laughs> that's the same ones. Okay, we've got two pages. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out one sheet from the Plenty Thing sticker book. We could put the little cabin down here. I don't love how it's coming down on the bottom on this side and over here it's not. Um, hmm. I think I think I want to try to bring these back up. I know, and then I could pull in like a long box sticker over here. Let me try this real quick. Oh, and I did that white out. That's okay. We'll figure that out in a minute. Okay, so let's go more inside the box here. And then we'll come in with this also. And then I want to bring that cabin back down here. I like that. Um, I think I like that better. I'm going to go ahead and pull in a long box sticker over here. And I'll just use it for like a running to-do list or something. Okay, so the boxes that I pulled are from Mojo Jojo Plans Autumn Boxes 2.0, Gray Boxes and More, and Green Boxes and More. Um, for the Autumn Boxes, I think the color I had pulled was this kind of a tan color. And then gray, we were just gonna probably do the lightest color gray. And then on the green, I like the darker green. And I think the three colors kind of pull from different um, elements of the sticker. So let's go ahead and do, let, um, I'm just going to do a gray box on the side. And I'm going to do one with the lines. Okay, that works good. Let's pull in some other boxes too while we've got them. gray box in for Wednesday. And then I think we'll try to pull in maybe some kind of an animal on here. Let's see what we have. Got the outdoor sticker book from the paper studio from the happy planner and this animals and I've got a couple of sheets here that have kind of like those wintry animals and then also we've got the plenty thing I like this little scene with the deer this is coming from the outdoor sticker pack um, I like that but it's kind of too far over. Let me see if I can, but if I trim it, then it would be okay. I think I'll just trim it. Yeah, that works. And I can save this little tree for another something else. All right. 
Okay, I like that. I could probably put like a quote or something over here, uh, but for now, let's go ahead and keep going with some boxes on this page. I could put a couple of bullet points here. Uh, these are coming from Autumn Boxes 2.0. And while I've got um, this sticker book, I'll pull a smaller box. Well, no, let me go in with some green bullet points right here is what I was thinking, actually. Okay, that works. Let's do, I could do another little scene up here, maybe. Maybe some more trees from the Live Love Posh sticker book. That's pretty good. And then I like the little uh, scene here with the wolves. And it also has some more trees and mountains kind of mixed in. So maybe we can incorporate that together. Kind of like that. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know you guys. It's a little different than I, I normally would do. Um, let's go ahead and put some more boxes in. Let's do a gray box here. Actually, I'm gonna do a gray and a tan, but I'm gonna do two smaller ones. Kinda like, like that. I'm gonna move this up so it's kind of like this is sitting on that box. We'll just line this gray one up kind of with that one. Okay, that's better. Um, I think I need a I need a big box for Sunday. I normally do. Um, however, I don't want my boxes to go like that. So I probably need to put the big box for Sunday down here and we'll make it a gray box since I have the bigger tan one over here. Um, let's see. works, but we'll have to put something in between there. I really liked the eagle sticker in the animal sticker book. I don't know where that could come into, but it's a really pretty sticker. Hmm. Like I said, you guys, these are this is different than anything I've ever done as far as style, the style of the stickers and stuff. Um, but I like it. I think it's really pretty. If I could find something to kind of incorporate it with it up here, I think I would like that. Um, but I'm gonna hold on to it for just a minute. 
and keep working on this over here. I think that I'll, I think that's going to go up there though. We've got little birds on this one on the sticker, the animal sticker pack. Nothing's actually flying though, except for the eagle. But they could be uh, cute sitting on um, the boxes, maybe. Yeah. I love the cardinal, it's so pretty. Put him up there, okay, I like that. All right, um, I feel like we still, like I said, we still need something here and I'm gonna have to do something up here in this corner. I could do a couple of more bullet points up here. And actually I need another box on Sunday because my brother-in-law's birthday is that day. My aunt's birthday is the fourth, so I could probably put another box there too. So let me do that, because I don't want to forget to put their birthdays in. So we'll put the birthday, or put this box for my aunt's birthday here. Uh, well, not crooked, it's kind of crooked. Let me straighten that up. Uh, I guess that's okay. Um, yeah, we'll leave it. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna put maybe like something underneath it that says celebrate or something so it kind of fills that little gap. And then a box from my brother-in-law's birthday. Um, we could do a green box. Before I stick that down, I think I might want to see if I can find another little scene to put with it. Or a house, maybe another cabin, because we've only got the one down here. Okay, I like this little cabin. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this inside the lines, because I don't want it just straight in line with this one. And then we'll put, I'm trying to decide if I wanna pull in any of these trees or go back to this sheet so they're kind of more coordinating. Let me move that so you guys can see the spread better. Okay, um, I think maybe we'll pull in, we'll stick our eagle there for a minute. I'm gonna pull this sticker in here, this little tree. And then this cabin. That works. Okay. Cute. I love that. All right. Um, still need a little something to break up these two boxes, but like I said, we could possibly pull in some quotes. So, and then the eagle, if we're using this eagle, we've got to figure something out for him. It's a little bit big up there for the, that little area. That's why I was thinking maybe over here. I think I'm just going to put him down right here. Okay. That works. And then, well, I don't want him so straight. Let me turn him just a little bit. Maybe more like that. Okay, that's better. Our little penguin's cute. <laughs> And the deer, I could put the deer down here on this mountain scene. He might be a good size for it. Let's see. He kind of doesn't really show up though. We already have one deer here, so maybe we, we don't need to use him. I 
I think anything I use is not going to really show up because they're clear. So, unless I put them on paper and cut around it, I could do that if I wanted, if I really wanted something down here. Hmm. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> Sometimes I get get to a point in a spread and I kind of get like a little bit stuck. Um, and it's just because it's hard to kind of figure out those little things sometimes. I realize now I don't have any boxes on Saturday, so I need to pull in something for Saturday. So let's go ahead and pull in maybe another tan box to put between there. And that'll help with breaking those up. Yeah, that works. Like something's crooked though. I think it's the gray box. I think that's a little bit better. Okay. We could do a little something here too now since we have a little spot we can fit something. Maybe the deer. Oh yeah, that's good. Perfect. Okay. All right. Um does it need any quotes? I would like to have a quote. Let me see what I can find. I found a few quotes that I think will work from Winter Collections Volume 2 from Amber Plans Are Day. Um, but before we do that, I want to put one of the little scenes from the outdoor sticker pack uh, right up here. Um, I think that'll just kind of fill in that little area there. And um, then we can add those quotes and we'll be done. Perfect. Okay. Um, and then quotes, we've got quite a few to choose from this from choose from in this sticker book. Um, so I'm just going to go through here and pull out a couple. I like this one. It says the world changes when it snows. I'm gonna hold on to that just because I'm not sure where they'll fit the best, um, depending on what else I find. This one too, I think it says when snow falls, nature listens, and they both have kind of that print font, so I think they'll be uh, they'll work well together. So let me pull this one too. I'm thinking this will be enough. All right, so I like this one up here just because of the way it fits. I think it has a. I think it fits better up here if I can get it lay down the way I want it to. I think I'm just going to put it right there. Okay, and then this one will fit here, I think. The world changes when it snows. It's a little bit too small for that spot, but I think, I'm, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, you can still still read it. All right, I think we're done. I love it. Um, it's different than I normally would do, um, but I love the look of it and incorporating all the different sticker books together is always fun and challenging. Um, and so I hope you like it too. Let's do a sticker book recap so you guys can 
um, see which uh, ones we used if you're interested in finding them. Uh, Winter Collections for Volume 2 from Amber Plants Her Day for our quotes. Um, the Animal and Outdoor Sticker Packs from Hobby Lobby. I find these um, in store. You can order them online, but um, I think it's just more fun to go to the store and check out, you know, what they've got. I always wait till they're 40% off. I never pay full price for those. Plenty Thing Seasonal Fun. This book's no longer available, but keep an eye on Plenty Thing's website. She's got some new stuff coming out for this month, um, and she always has really cute stuff. Live, Love, Posh chic winter i believe this is still available if it is i'll link it down below for you guys and then our boxes are all from mojo jojo plans uh just to show you we got gray boxes green boxes and autumn boxes 2.0 um the gray and green may still be available um autumn boxes 2.0 is not available i always have her linked in my description box below for you guys um so yeah i hope you like the spread if you did hit that thumbs up button thank you so much for hanging out with me today we'll see you next time Bye.